Now that a Canelo and Terence Crawford are rumored or they already moved on from PVC, I'm going to give you my point of view from PVC and what really happened. So PVC had all these boxers, these good boxers. And now what do I say was good? They were not great. They had Charlos, the two Charlos, Benavides. Benavides is great, okay? They had Spence. They have Tank. They had Ugas, Mario Barrios, just to name a few. And they thought they had lions, but in reality, they had leopards. Now, what do I mean with that also? Canelo used to be in Dazan, Dazan and Eddie Hearns made the right choice of getting every single dime that he could profit from it. He, he basically, I'm not going to say he made Canelo undisputed, but he had the bouts to give Canelo undisputed. On the other hand, Terence Crawford was with top rank. Bob Byron said he couldn't generate money. He couldn't make profit by putting Crawford against ex-boxers. And Terence Crawford became a free agent. And then he signed with uh, PVC. Same thing with Canelo. The difference is that PVC thought that they had great boxers. Now, this is what I heard from other YouTubers, that the plan was Crawford fight Spence. And after that, we don't know what Crawford's plan was. But on the other hand, the three contracts, the three boxes that Canelo had in plan was Charlo, Charlo, Spence. That means that PVC probably thought that Spence was going to beat Crawford. And, that, and when Crawford beat Spence, it ruined that plan because now Crawford, uh, Canelo was not going to, well, he could still fight Spence, but it wasn't going to generate that profit unless Spence beat Crawford. And the rumor is now that they were trying to get him to fight Benavides and he said no. They gave him X amount of money, he declined it. Another thing that PBC was cashing out back then was Showtime. Now it went to Amazon, maybe Amazon. Since it's new, they're very precautious, I assume. And they're not going to give them uh, X amount of money per fight. With that being said, PBC thought they had all these great boxers, but in reality, they were good. Spence was good fighting the boxers that PBC provided for, against to fight against. They had Porter, Thurman also. Thurman is in and out. Porter retired. The Charlos, one of them, I don't know what's going on with him. And they had Ugas, which they probably also have plans for him, but Mario Barros beat him. When you put two actual lions against these wannabe lions, they get exposed. And now, what you consider a great line of boxers is no longer a great line of boxers. When Crawford beat uh, Spence and made the value of him and the people that he beat a little bit less, and then made Crawford the main, the main boxer. On the other hand, Canelo, he beat Charlo. He's supposed to fight the other Charlo. The other Charlo didn't look that good. And that means that those type, those boxers right there, even though there were two weight classes down, their, their popularity or their shyness is a little bit gone already with Canelo. And that's what I'm trying to say. They put two lions against these hyenas, not the hyenas, leopards, and they got exposed. And another thing about PVC, like I said, Ugas, he lost Tank, even though he says he's not with PVC, he's with Eddie Hearn. All these rehydration clause rumored, and I'm not going to say he's nitpicking his, his fights, but I think fans are actually getting tired of that, of that 
and they want him to see fight against Shakur, Haney, Teofimo. Now Matias is there. That it takes that that how can I say it? Not not lust, but how can I say this? The shine also on him. Because if you look at the other boxers from that weight class or around that weight class as tank, you look at uh, Teofimo, he fought Taylor for Undisputed. He fought Loma. He fought Combr Combrosas, even though Combrosas wasn't that popular back then. Combrosas fought, uh, what do you call it, Teofimo, and he fought uh, Haney. Haney fought, fought uh, Combrosas. That's the only great, great boxer that he fought. And Loma... I'm not sure if he fought Loma. I don't remember. And Loma fought almost everybody. Meanwhile, Javante, yeah, he fought uh, De Los Santos, but he came up from uh, different weight classes. He came up. He fought Barrios. Barrios eventually said that he had a rehydration clause. He fought uh, Garcia. Garcia also said that he had a rehydration clause. I mean, that 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 takes the shine out of it. I know a lot of people say, "Well, if they're if they're fighting and um if they waste X amount, why sh why should uh, he not be doing a rehydration class?" Yes, it's it's common and it's not common. But not everybody puts it on on a boxer that he does it constantly. And that's why I think PBC is losing their their shine right now. They lost, like I said, Showtime. All their boxers either lost against another PBC boxer, which lost against Canelo or Crawford, or including Tank, except Benavides. Benavides, I still think he's a he's up there. I, I guess he's going to fight somebody and he's going to wait for Arthur or Bebo. But I believe Arthur and Bebo are not on PBC. So it might be hard to get that fight unless they're free agents or they're like boxers without a a promoter one of these big promoters top rank Eddie Hearn or Dazan and of course or Don Keen or um, or PBC and I, I thought Eddie Hearn and Dazan were on a decline after they lost uh, Canelo but they got him back they have Munguia Berlanga I don't really like Berlanga Munguia I didn't like him until the last fight uh, I always seem he got tired at the end. So right now, Crawford, I think he's going to, if he don't leave PBC, it's because they're going to give him a lucrative deal and they're going to give him the fights that he wants, probably the Charlos or Zoo or I don't know who else. But if he wants the big money and Eddie Hearn agrees and Canelo agree, they, he might go sign with the Zan. They also have what he call it Berlanga and Munguia that will say Canelo could fight one and I'm not sure how heavy they are that Crawford could fight the other one. And that's about it. I think PBC he, they should have fought all these fighters that were um not undisputed but um they had a winning record, no losing, no no losses. They should have fought them against each other or made like a uh, tournament, where the one that uh, Ward won against, uh, I forgot the other guy, Abraham, not Abraham, I forgot the guy, but they should have made a tournament. But the thing is, some of these boxers, they don't want to fight against each other. They don't want to lose that zero. I don't know what's wrong, but that's about it. PVC needs to get all these fighters to agree to fight. That's that's all I'm saying, because right now, their 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 pool, yeah, they're they're good fighters, but it's like their fighters are like a Mickey Ward against a Gotti fight. They were good fights, but they were not great boxers. That's the truth. They were good boxers, and that's about it. Thank you, thank you for watching.